Senate Republicans, after days of delays and struggles to line up with the White House, will release their $1 trillion coronavirus relief package Monday afternoon, which includes a cut of $400 to the enhanced unemployment benefit for Americans out of work from the COVID-19 crisis. To give a sense of the optimism on the GOP side right now, White House officials spent much of the weekend floating a less ambitious Plan B option, before their Plan A even sees the light of day. Bottom line, for most recipients of the $600 federal unemployment benefit enhancement, the final checks went out a few days ago. The official deadline is July 31st. The federal eviction moratorium expired last week. Republicans are, just on Monday, releasing their opening bid, which President Donald Trump's administration is already moving away from in order to pitch a scaled-back proposal Democrats have already rejected. This is, to say the least, not an ideal way to kick off long-delayed bipartisan talks. The Senate Republican proposal will sit around $1 trillion and include $105 billion for schools, a second round of direct payments to individuals and families, $16 billion in new money for testing, a second, more targeted round of forgivable small business loans from the Paycheck Protection Program, a myriad of tax incentives for employers to rehire, retain and retrofit their offices for employees. It will also include Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's red line, liability protections for businesses, schools, hospitals and non-profits. It will also cut enhanced federal unemployment benefits, set to expire at the end of this week, to $200, from the current level of $600, as states transition to implement a system designed to provide approximately 70% wage replacement for laid-off workers, according to two people familiar with the proposal. One thing there hasn't been much talk about on the GOP side in recent weeks has been what they plan to do about the federal eviction moratorium that expired last week. Well, CNN's Jake Tapper got White House economic adviser Larry Kudlow, the director of the National Economic Council, to tip their hand on that Sunday. We will lengthen the eviction, moratorium, Kudlow said. We will lengthen it. Both Mark Meadows, the White House chief of staff, and Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin used appearances on Sunday news talk shows to float the idea of moving forward on a narrow set of issues, most notably an extension of the federal unemployment benefit, while saving the broader issues for future legislation. Perhaps we put that forward, get that passed, as we can negotiate on the rest of the bill in the weeks to come, Meadows said on ABC News, this week. This was planned, sources tell CNN. Over the last several days, they have made clear in talks with Senate Republicans that they don't view a broad deal as feasible given where Democrats stand at the moment.